Will this thing, big as it is, fit in that thing by there, my PC? Let's find out. Hi everybody and welcome to another IoT, Ix is on tech, I am Ix is on today's episode we're going to be having a look at my new CPU fan, a Deepcool Gamax Gamax S40. Does it suck or does it blow? <laughs> well, I'm going to be fitting into my PC there. This, uh, this CPU cooler covers a range of different PCs, uh, processors I mean. Uh, it fits into an i7, i3, i5, Core 2, Extreme, Quad Duo, Pentium, Pentium G, Celeron and Celeron G. Also installs onto a range of AMD motherboards as well. It'll cover FM2+, FM2, FM1, AM3+, AM2, AM2+, and uh, rated at 125 watts. Mm, don't know what that means. Uh, saying 130 watts for the Intel processor. So this is a big step up from the current processor fan I have on my computer. I'm still rocking an AMD Phenom 2 Quad Core 955 Black Edition, so that means I can overclock it. And I've still got the original CPU fan on there, so I'm hoping this is going to make a big difference to my cooling, especially considering I do all my rendering for all my videos on this PC. So I've downloaded ADA64 and I've also got HW Info, so we can have a look at what the current temperatures are on my motherboard. I'm going to put under a stress test, see how it fares with the current CPU fan, and then see what it's like with this thing on. So let's take you in for a bit closer look and have a look to see what the temps are at the moment. So here we are looking at my uh, main hardware info program, hardware info 64. Sorry about the shakiness of the hand camera, but I couldn't get my trouble close enough. So currently my CPU is 36 is that current, minimum 35, maximum 46, average is 36 as well. Let's have a look at uh, ADA 64 now. I have got the trial version here, so fingers crossed uh, we can do some sort of stress testing on this bad boy. So let's give this ADA 64 a go. Let's click start and have a look at what sort of temperatures. You can probably hear my back, uh, the PC in the background whirring away. So this has been running for a minute and a half. I think I'll take it to two minutes, we'll stop, and then we'll install the new processor fan. So here we are then, we've just reached the two minute stage on doing a stress test on the CPU. Current temperature, as you can probably see there, is 59 degrees. Uh, ooh, 60 degrees, okay. 59, 60 degrees. Uh, minimum is still 35, maximum 60, average is 38. So here is my PC, my aged little thing. So I don't know if you can see in there, we've got a uh, case fan, we've got a blower fan out the back, second on the hot air out. Got my three sticks of HyperX Fury uh, memory. Uh, all of them are four gig sticks. Next month we'll be getting another four gig stick up to uh, 16. My Gigabyte motherboard, my ancient graphics card, my satellite TV card in the, on the top. And I've got a free view card that's unfortunately bent out of shape at the bottom. Cable management? Pfft, I don't know what that is. Anywho, let's um, stop this and we'll take the PC downstairs into the kitchen so that we can take it apart and install the new CPU fan and then we'll come back and do some more speed tests and uh, temperature tests. One thing I need to show you as well is what you get in the box. So let's crack it open. I have already opened it before because this got delivered about two weeks ago. So it is a four pipe cooler with a massive fan on the front of it. I do believe it's a 120 millimeter fan and it's 25 mil thick. So in there are all your brackets for the different types of motherboards, different processors you get. And here is the fan. So this is much bigger than the one I've got on my PC at the moment. So as you can see, the four heat pipes come through the top, big, Big fan on the front and pleasantly surprised at the bottom we do have thermal paste applied. Now I don't have any thermal paste here so I'm going to put my faith in this thermal paste that has already come on the bottom of this uh, CPU cooler. So this is my very old PC. God it must be about 10 years old now. So let's crank it down on the side. Oh god everything's rattling inside of it. So as you can see, I've got uh, a side panel of a fan there. Let's take this off. 
I have my thumb screws in there already. Let's disconnect the fan on the side and well, my cat's gonna go to the toilet. Brilliant, well done Toby. So there is my old AMD fan. There's the FreeSat card for satellite television. There's my very old AMD 4600 series um, graphics card with dual DVI output, which is what I wanted. And falling apart at the bottom here is a Freeview card. So with the AMD uh, processor, you just need to lift up the little arm, but there it pops up and then you can wiggle that out and don't forget to disconnect the fan, which looking at this is at the top. So I did forget to show you what was in the uh, little parts box here. So you've got uh, a couple of brackets there that you need to screw onto the bottom of the uh, CPU cooler. So they're gonna be for some uh, Intel ones. We've got another pair here with the springs on them for uh, Intel. The ones, one I'm mostly interested in is the one for the AMD cooler. So I am, as I said before, I've got an AMD Phenom 2 quad core 955 black edition so at the moment it's 3.2 gigahertz and as we've seen on the uh, stress testing upstairs it went up to a maximum of 60 degrees centigrade on the 8064 stress testing so in the box also is a little instruction leaflet on how to put your uh, cpu fan together depending on which bracket that you need for your pc and uh, your motherboard so they are so they're the intel ones i was uh those black plasticky ones there for the other intel blah 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 and on the back of course we have the amd so looking at this we need to put this bracket that way round and then screw the screws in so it goes that away it goes that away Right, so let me get a screwdriver and we'll start screwing away. <laughs> so I do believe this person here wrote some of those comic books, didn't he? So I'll put that in there. Reach over, get the fan. So I don't think you can see what I'm doing on the side here. Let's move him around. There we go. So let's peel that off. We keep the uh, plastic on the other end because I don't particularly want to scratch the table. Also in here are uh, some little screws. So you do get four little screws here. I hope my screwdriver bit will fit into them. Hey Toby. Let's empty his ears. Yeah, excuse the cat in the background. Don't know if you can see him or not. So this goes that away. Yeah. There we go. So the holes line up perfect. So let's put these in. Let's take out the existing uh, CPU cooler. So this is a gigabyte motherboard that I bought, I think it was last year or the year before. So it has got four slots for DDR3 RAM. I know it's old, it's not DDR4, but hey, I can't afford a new Ryzen uh, system. I do, however, have two PCI Express slots. That's what I wanted this motherboard for. One for the FreeSat card, satellite TV, and one for the Freeview card. The Freeview card, uh, the PCI Express slot was Blocked by the graphics card? No, no, it's not. So when I do get a new graphics card, I want to get a uh, a gigabyte RX 570 or RX 580 with eight gigabyte, and hopefully it'll help in speeding up my video editing. I'll be able to uh, have my preview window on, on the second monitor, which I currently do, but the video quality isn't that good. So let's take this out. So I just need to pull up the arm. No my luck, I'm going to burn myself now because this has been on for quite some time upstairs in the bedroom. Gently pull. Uh, let's pull the CPU out. Ah, uh, shizen. Oh dear. Meh, 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 meh. No! Uh. Oops, I just dropped on the floor. Uh. How annoying. And now I get all thermal paste everywhere. Right, tissue. I feel like I've done a line of tech tips now and dropping my CPU over the floor. Uh, 
is what it didn't need. So this probably isn't the best stuff to wipe a processor with. But hey, I'm in a kitchen, where else is there to hand? Apart from a cat. I wonder if we can wash it under the sink. Leave in the comments below the worst way in which you could probably clean your CPU. So let's make sure that all the pins are in line. When it's looking at this, they do seem to be. I'm not seeing any that are bent, thank God. Because I did just drop this on the floor. Let's pop this thing in. Oh, just to show you as well. Uh, in the Fed M2. So let's pop this thing back in. I've lifted the arm. And there we go. Seated nicely. Let's put the arm down. There we go. Right. Now, let's stick this in. I wanted to go that way because then the air will go through that way and go out through the exhaust fan at the back. As I said, I don't know about the uh, paste that's already in the bottom. Hopefully that will be enough. But uh, let's crack on and get it on. Well, the paste seems to be uh, squidgy, so that's uh, a bit of good news. Ah, there we go. We are on. Right, so where's the cable? There's the cable. Um, it only goes on one way. You see there's two little ridges by there. They'll only go one way onto the uh, pins that are on the motherboard. Okay, so after dropping my CPU, I've now got my new fan installed. Let's put the side of the case back on. Let's go back upstairs and we'll do some more stress testing and see what the thermals are like. Okay, so here we are back upstairs in the bedroom. PC all put back together. Mr. Purple Hanging Man, he's back clipped onto his uh, PC. Do you want to give him a name? Leave him a name in the comments below. So put the side panel back on, I'll bear in mind I did drop the CPU downstairs. <laughs> I believe I did that. <laughs> Dropped on the floor as well. So let's turn on the PC and fingers crossed, hope it works. Oh, the fan spun. Let me get uh, the other phone out and oh, I'll shoot. Ooh, sounds quieter straight away. Oh, oh we do get a beep. Monitor's coming on, fantastic. Why doesn't that one come on? That one always needs a source. That one's plugged into a second PC as well. Ooh, so we are working. Oh, no, I haven't plugged in the keyboard. <laughs> this is a shared keyboard between two computers, by the way, that's why I need to plug it in there. So, uh, 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 uh. Now it is plugged in and ding, there we go. So let's have a look inside of here. There we go, it's just purred away nicely. It is very close though to the, uh, to the intake fan on the side panel, but it did all fit and I'm happy with that. It does seem to be quieter, which is very nice. So let's crack up on those uh, programs that we were using early on then and let's do a stress test. Okay, so here we are then. I've opened up uh, ADA64 and I've got HW info. Uh, we can see at the moment the uh, CPU is currently 34 degrees centigrade, uh, 34, 39, 35, maximum 39. Bearing in mind, obviously, I've had the, the fan off, uh, the CPU cooler is off. So um, here's our ADA64. So let's give it a stress test and see what happens with the temperature. So what did we hit before? We hit 60 degrees. Uh, 60 degrees before and that was in a two minute uh, stint of doing a stress test on the CPU. So CPU usage as you can see there it's gone up to 100%. Let's have a look at the temperatures. 43. Okay so I'll run it for two minutes and then we'll see how we get on. Okay so here we are then coming up on the two minute mark and as you can see there temperature, CPU temperature 47, 40 degrees. So well, that is a vast improvement over the stock CPU cooler that came with my AMD Phenom. Oh, there we go, 49 degrees, 47, 49. So what have we cut off there? So it, was, it, it hit 60 before. So we're about 11 degrees cooler. So that is good. So what am I gonna do next with this PC? Well, I need to add another stick of RAM, as I mentioned before, because I've only got 12 gig at the moment. I need to get another HyperX Fury. Probably go with the blue, because then I can have white, blue, white, blue. 
uh, RAM sticks in my PC case. So what do I think of this fan? So the Gamax or Gmax S40 by Deepcore, I bought, bought it off Amazon in the end, uh, although eBay do also sell this uh, CPU cooler. I will leave links in the video description below so you can buy it as well. But uh, would I recommend this fan? Well, yeah, if you've got an original AMD Phenom 2 quad-core uh, AMD CPU cooler, then yes, upgrade to this. As we can see from the stats here, you know, we're still hovering at, what, 49 degrees? Uh, previously, you know, we're running the stress test now for 3 minutes and 12. Previously, we did it for 2 minutes and we were hitting 60. So that is a, is a, a great improvement on the CPU cooling. So I am going to hopefully overclock this, maybe push it up to 3.3, 3.4, 3.5 gigahertz because it is a black edition after all, so I can overclock this, uh, this processor in here. If you've got any hints or tips on uh, what I can do to make my uh, overclocking a bit easier and a bit cooler, then please leave a comment in the video description below. So this is it for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to get in touch with me, then please follow me on Twitter. So I'm at Ixis on Tech on Twitter. If you want to direct message me, maybe if you want to uh, loan me some gadgets or technology for me to review, I would love that. If you want to sponsor a video, then please get in contact with me on Twitter at Ixis on Tech. That's it for now. So don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. If you didn't like the video, then please leave a comment in the video description below. Please subscribe. The more likes and uh, subscribers I get, then the more uh, money hopefully I can make off YouTube, even though I'm not supposed to mention that thing. But, you know, I do love tech. I'm sure you love tech as well. I'll see you again. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.